Hello everyone, my name is Charlie. I'm a third year PhD student in the Mackindale lab and today what I'm going to demonstrate for you is the correct way to peroxide test organic solvents. Um, so we've got two solvents here that we're going to test. One in this can is diethyl ether and then one in this media bottle is tetrahydrofuran. So we use these test strips. Um, these are supposed to be kept in the fridge. Um, they do go bad if they're warm. So I would recommend that you keep yours in there as well. Now the correct way of doing this is to take your solvent of interest, here I'm going to use ether first, and saturate this square with the solvent. This needs to be let uh, to completely evaporate before the next step. Once it's evaporated, it needs to be dipped in water and then read after 15 seconds. This is just some deionized water here. <clears throat> so after 15 seconds, you can see this diethyl ether does not have any peroxides in it. Now we're going to test our tetrahydrofuran. With solvents that are less volatile, it's often good to wick them away with a Kim wipe before you dip them into the water. Now we'll wait for 15 seconds again and we'll see what's going on. So our tetrahydrofuran is giving us a pretty positive peroxide response. Um, what that means is that this solvent should not be distilled. Um, it should either be disposed of or have its peroxides quenched in some way before use. Uh, ferrous sulfate is typically the way that this is done. Um, but um, yeah, that's, uh, that's organic uh, peroxide testing. 